Now this month, KCAU is sharing the stories of men and women who've served our country. And in Virginia, a Navy veteran has taken her military skills and then applied them to running her own business. And as a woman and a veteran, she's often seen as an anomaly. That's something she says she hopes to change. Marilyn Ores shares her story of determination and persistence. There's something about a coffee shop that pulls you in. Here at Sweet Beans, it's the smiles you'll see behind the counter. Hey, hi, I'm so sorry. No. This coffee shop is Mallory Ruggs' passion project, but first, it was an idea. Ten years ago, she worked as a barista when her husband first enlisted in the Army. I just figured out what I want to do for the rest of my life. But first, she felt called to serve and joined the Navy in 2012. I was a fire controlman. I was a spy technician. That's when she met her friend, Heather Amadeo. Her husband and I had the same job. Their families became close, the military moving them apart and then bringing them both to Norfolk in 2017. Mallory finished her enlistment but still works on base as an instructor. The two women got to work on their coffee shop. It would be endless nights of just working on the business plan, working on what we needed to sell, uh, how we were going to sell it, um, and it was just hair pulling sometimes. But finally, they got a loan and they found this spot not far from NASA Langley. They opened in May and already have loyal customers, some who are surprised to learn that the shop is owned by two women, one who's a veteran. I understand why there is a stereotype, however, I look forward to being able to break that stereotype. Mallory and Heather are determined to help other women, giving them advice on how to start their own businesses, paying it forward. It's a very empowering feeling knowing that we were able to help somebody else make their dream come true. Using their training, their story, and their voices to inspire female veterans and beyond.